hi everyone and welcome to aws so in this video we are going to talk about aws waf and aws shield so waf also referred as the web application firewall it's like the set of rules that we can apply to any distributions that we have in aws to have a complete control on how they are going to be distributed and what kind of rules are going to govern them so for example if we talk about the WAF service which is like a web application firewall service it allows us to monitor the HTTP and HTTPS requests that are forwarded to the CloudFront distribution and API gateway based on REST API or an application load balancer. So these are the ways through which we host any web based application and we can use the WAF to monitor the number of requests being generated plus if we want to have a complete control on the traffic that we want to allow or deny then we can go ahead and define that by using this WAF service so under WAF we can define what kind of protocol what kind of rules we want to allow in terms of the incoming traffic for example we don't want the users who are coming from one specific path for example if the requested URL contains a specific path we don't want to allow that path we can simply reject that and then if you don't want the traffic to be coming in from one specific location or a group of locations we can define them as a part of the rules and they can be applied so these all things we can do by using the WAF service which allows us to have a secure deployment for the applications that we have done on AWS resources so that is what we can define as a part of AWS WAF service and WAF, as we have discussed, it simply allows the users to define the allow request for all except the ones that we specify. We can also block all the requests except the ones that we specify. For example, we don't want to serve the content in one specific country. And apart from that, we want to serve all the content. Now, we don't want if the request contains a specific path and that too from a specific country, we don't want to allow that, then we can restrict the others. Or we want to allow we want to disallow that particular logic else we are going to re allow everything else and we can define that rule as well and then we can count the number of requests that matches the properties that they specify so we can simply count the number of requests being generated as a part of the monitoring activity so that if the number of requests simply surpasses a given threshold then that can be marked as a trigger to be monitored and there are multiple benefits of using WAF service. So we do get the additional protection against the web attacks using multiple conditions. So basically using WAF, we can define multiple connect conditions. For example, the IP address that requests originate from, we can define the condition based on the country that requests originate from. We can define the values in request headers strings that appear in requests either specific strings or strings that match regular expressions and then the length of request the presence of sql code that is likely to be malicious and the presence of script that is likely to be malicious like we have a cross-site scripting we can also allow or we can say disallow the rules that can allow block or count web requests that meet such specified conditions and alternatively rules can block or count the web requests that not only meets a specified conditions but also exceeds a specified number of requests in any five minute period and then we have a real-time metric and sample web requests that can be monitored and then we have the automated administration done using the WAF API as a service and along with it we can also define multiple managed rule groups from AWS and the marketplace sellers next we have AWS shield so shield is a managed distributed denial of service protection service that safeguards the applications running on AWS now using shield we can provide an always-on detection and automatic inline mitigations that minimize the applications downtime and latency so using the WAF as a web access control list as in the web ACL we can minimize the effects of the denial of service attack so for additional protection against the denial of service AWS also provides shield standard 
and shield advanced and shield standard is automatically included at no extra cost beyond of what we already pay for the VAF service and our other AWS services and shield advanced provides expanded denial of service attack protection for our Amazon EC2 instances, load balancers, cloud front distributions and route TTP hosted zones, the API gateways. So Shield Advanced incurs additional charges that we have to pay on top of the services that we have deployed. And there are multiple benefits of using Shield. It is seamless in terms of being integrated and that too on the production level environment. We can always customize it. That means we have a complete control on how the production and what kind of rules are going to be allowed and denied. And then we have a managed protection and attack visibility by using the shield concept here. And we do have a really good cost efficiency because here we have to pay based on the number of requests that we are going to generate as a setup. Thank you for watching the video.